and two axes. Uh, I will. I I said in the first lesson that I must have just one uh, runtime instance, workflow runtime instance per uh, ap application domain. So how how can I do that in a in a web application? So I create create a public static workflow runtime. I have to add some reference in my web application. Dot net. System workflow runtime for a while, and now I have it here. I will create a property that return my runtime, and where can I can I store my runtime? I will put in the context current application I call it workflow runtime s workflow runtime so what what am I doing here I have created uh, I will store my workflow runtime in my application so then I, I will I will make a cast to our workflow on time and I will return it here. Here uh, is where I'm gonna store my workflow on time. As we learned before, the workflow on time have many services, we have workflow services that we can add to workflow on time. And we are gonna create a method to initialize the workflow on time. Let's do it now. I will create a public static void void no from time initialize workflow runtime. So I'm gonna create an instance of the workflow runtime here. New workflow runtime. And I will add some services. First, we are going to need the manual scheduler serves. We must add another reference in our project. System workflow. Component mode and activities. And I have also to add another one here. Okay. Another service that we have to create is a is a service that makes it possible to communicate with to create the communication between the web application and the uh, and the workflow is this one and now we have created a page flow service and to use the page flow service we have to do the following we added this service and this service will have our page flow service Okay, is a service that manages another service, and now we can return our runtime. Okay, now we create a uh, initialize workflow runtime method, and where are we gonna create and stop the workflow runtime? In our application, it's good to do it in the global global is x. So here we are gonna do the following. Um, we're gonna declare a workflow runtime 
print time go equals initialize workflow runtime and this is in the using page flow web app and code equals initialize workflow oh sorry here initialize workflow runtime This is in our Playful app uh, code. It's on our runtime wrapper class. And then we are gonna set in the in the application variable. So we are gonna create another here. HTTP context dot current application add we call it workflow runtime and we are going to add the value so workflow runtime workflow runtime per class runtime equals runtime but before we are going to start our runtime and in the application end we are gonna use workflow runtime wrapper class runtime is stop runtime we have to stop the runtime okay so now we created the the wrapper class and we defined where we start our runtime and where we stop it let's just check it's everything okay and now we have our page our, our communication channel implemented developed so now we have our channel implemented so let's go back to our slide and in the next lesson we can finally create our web forms and implement our page flow solution so the next lesson the lesson 5 Thank you all for uh, for choosing us and see you in the next lesson. Thank you and goodbye.